the rising towers of Tarapur power plant dominate the shoreline. It was built in 1969 and holds the title of being India's first nuclear power plant. But villagers feel little pride. Ravindra Mora's family home was once behind the walls of the plant. This plant produces electricity for the entire country. But here, right next to the plant, we don't get electricity for over 12 hours. We have given up our livelihood, our home. We get nothing back. The Tarapur nuclear reactor is the same model as the ones used in Japan's Fukushima plant. Both were built by the American company General Electric decades ago. Like its Japanese counterpart, there have been calls to shut down Tarapur. The same vintage nuclear power plants, for instance Dresden in the United States, have been decommissioned. The plants of the same vintage. The environmental damage here is apparent. Once lush mangrove swamps have dried up, only one in India's 20 nuclear power plants has had an independent safety audit. But the country is in a rush to build more. Just 500 kilometers from the Tarpur facility, the Indian government is building a series of nuclear power plants with the help of French technology. It's in line with plans to triple nuclear power production within the next 25 years. The Jaitapur nuclear power project takes over farmlands near the western coast. The French company Arriva is set to provide the nuclear reactors. To allay local okay. resistance ahead of the French president's visit, the government has offered to quadruple compensation. But landowners have refused the offer, fearing that they will face the same fate as others who have been displaced. Just beyond Tarapur's 1.5-kilometer exclusion zone are rows of one-room box-like houses. Despite the proximity to the nuclear plant, the streetlights are solar-powered. And far away from the sea, this is where many of the former fishermen of Tarapur have been moved to. There is absolutely no fish in this area anymore. Our livelihood is at stake. My family has been fishing for generations and we can't continue anymore. The villagers are in a bind. They say their grievances have not been answered and it seems that India's march for more nuclear power is unstoppable. Divya Gopalan, Al Jazeera, Tarapur, India.